Here's a two minute explainer on the difference between USB microphones and XLR, condenser versus dynamic, and which is best for you in recording your podcast or video content. Number one, should you get a USB or XLR microphone? Well, if you're just starting out, a USB microphone is gonna be the easiest to connect to your computer. It just takes one cable, and you won't have to worry as much about audio interfaces and levels. If you're gonna have multiple people in person and you're gonna use a mixer or audio interface, or you just wanna get one of the higher end microphones like a Shure SM7B, then you're looking at an XLR microphone. But you can also get the best of both worlds with something like the Shure MV7. They sell a model that has both USB and XLR microphone connections, so you can start off using USB, and then when your setup grows, you can switch to XLR. A budget-friendly option is the Audio-Technica 2100X. It has both USB-C and XLR connections. It's about $80. Now, what about condenser microphones like this Blue Yeti versus a dynamic microphone like the Shure SM7B? A condenser microphone is typically more sensitive, provides a lot of volume, and can pick up many details in what it's recording, but it's also going to pick up a lot of room noise, and if you have any background noise or noise in your recording environment, a condenser microphone might not be the best option. A dynamic microphone like the SM7B requires a lot more power to get a good amount of volume, but if you don't have the perfect recording environment, maybe you have kids at home, a dynamic microphone will help focus on your voice and less on the environment around you. And because everyone's voice is different, you might want to experiment what you sound like with a dynamic mic versus a condenser and how it sounds in your environment. Again, the Shure MV7 or the Audio-Technica 2100X are both dynamic microphones, great for a variety of environments. But if you want to try a higher-end condenser microphone, you can try the Shure Beta 87A. This is a condenser XLR microphone or the Earthworks Ethos. This is a small diaphragm condenser mic. It does a great job picking up all the details in your voice and still has that broadcast quality. Also, if you have an audio interface and you're not sure when to use phantom power, if you're using an XLR condenser microphone with an audio interface, you need phantom power, which is that plus 48V. If you're using a dynamic microphone like the Shure SM7B or MV7, then you do not need phantom power and you should turn it off. And those are some of the differences between XLR, USB, condenser, dynamic microphones, and more. If you'd like to see our top seven USB microphones, you can check out the video above or in the description. And if you'd like to learn about audio interfaces because you want to get into XLR and dynamic microphones, check out this video above or in the description. Let us know in the comments what other two-minute tutorials you'd like to see. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.